Hello, in today's video, we are gonna get cool. And uh, it's a really hot, sunny day, so it's probably for the best. So uh, let's get into it. Roll title! Yes, that's right. In today's video, we're going to be looking at a new CPU cooler, and it's this one. Now, this is the Sahara Gaming EX360 AIO cooler. Is it cooler than your X? Well, we don't know yet. We'll find out. So in this video, we're just going to be unboxing it and seeing what's included. Then in a future video, which I will link to up there when it's done, I will uh, show you it actually being installed. Now this 360mm AIO retails at £129, which is a bit of a bargain, but you can have it for even more of a bargain if you use code KIPHAKES20 when you check out on the website in the description, you can get £20 off, making this £109, which is silly money. And uh, because I've already filmed the build video where I've installed it, I can say, yeah, it works nicely. So uh, anyway, let's go to the table and do the unboxing. I'm quite intrigued to see this. I've not really heard of the Sahara Gaming brand. So uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see uh, what this is like and uh, how it all works. So uh, before we can do anything with it, we need to get it out of the box. So uh, let's do that. Oh, I like that. Cooler than your EX. Right, let's just have a little look at some of the specs on the back of the box before we get it out. So the pump can go to uh, 2600 RPM and it has a ceramic bearing. The radiator has a total length of 396 mil and a width of 120 and it is 27 millimeters thick and it's made of pure aluminium and it comes in black. I won't uh, read through all the uh, fan things, but they're there. If you want to pause it, you can take a look. And it supports both Intel and AMD processors. So uh, yeah, I think what we'll do is we'll get it out of the box and see what's what. Okay, so we have the uh, Sahara Gaming EX360 Series AIO Liquid Cooler User Manual. Helpful. And then what do we have in here? Okay, so we've got a uh, remote control and controller box, uh, which seems to be a remote control for the fans and also the LEDs in the fan. It's interesting. It's got 62 color settings. Right, what's next? So uh, here we have some screws and uh, fixings and also some thermal paste. Excellent, that's good that that's included. And some little wiring adapters. I'm sure all of that will become clear as to what it is when we come to install it. Now uh, what do we have here? Okay, so these are the fans. There we go, so they're RGB fans. Let's get one out and have a little look. Okay, so they seem to be a, uh, have a four pin power connector and then there's a hmm, six pin RGB connector, I think, unusual. I think they use their own uh, proprietary RGB system, so uh, that'll be interesting, but you know, it's a, it's a nice looking fan. I'm a big fan of their work. I'm sorry. So yeah, more of the same there. And then, what have we got here? Some sort of uh, wiring adapter. Aha, it is time to get out the radiator and the pump. Okay, well, let's have a little look, look at the pump while we're here. Yeah, I think that's an RGB and fan controller connector on it. The uh, copper plate. And uh, it does have a display that tells the temperature. Uh, we'll see a bit more of that. 
Aha, and these are the adapter plates depending on what processor you're using. Okay. Let's get the radiator out. Let's move this box out of the way. All the things. Okay, well, you know, it's a pretty standard looking radiator. Nothing much to uh, write home about. Now this is obviously a sealed unit, so uh, it's already filled with the uh, liquid. And we'll just have a quick look in the manual. Might give us some ideas when it comes to the installation. So there we go, we can see the full contents of what's in the box. So uh, it seems to have support for ASUS and Gigabyte motherboards. And um, yeah, it's got a nice straightforward wiring diagram there. I like that, it's nice and simple. Oh, and it can also plug straight into uh, an ARGB controller as well. That might be my preferred method, we'll see. But uh, I guess what we should do is maybe have a little look at this remote control and uh, fan controller. Okay, so we've got 10 ports. Okay, ah, this makes a bit more sense. So it is compatible with all Sahara Gaming ARGB fans only, six pins, so that is why it is six pins, it's their own proprietary system. So there you go, there's a little bit more information on the connection setup there. Interesting. This is going to be fun to install, I think. And I'll do that in another video. So we have our uh, remote control there. And uh, some Velcro tape. So many things. Okay. So yeah, it can control, yeah, 10 fans, there you go. Oh, and it has buttons on there to change the mode and it plugs into a uh, spare SATA connection. Hmm. I'm very intrigued by this. So it's all, it's all like new to me, this uh, Sahara stuff. I mean, I hope it plays nice with the, my existing setup. I'm sure it will. So that's the PR, that goes into the PWM. That's an RG, ARGB connector. Look, I'm sure it'll all be fine. But yeah, there's so much stuff here. I think it's probably good that I'm going to be doing an installation video along with this. I'm quite interested to see how it all goes together and how it works, but hopefully it will uh, keep my processor nice and cool. But yeah, let's uh, go back to the desk and finish up. So there we have it, this bad boy was unboxed and uh, actually now it's installed and uh, working beautifully inside my computer. And I actually did a rebuild into a Sahara Gaming P75 white case, which was a lot of fun to build in. It worked really, really nicely. So yeah, from the unboxing, it's a bit hard to tell how it all goes together and everything. And I did struggle a little bit with the installation and the instructions maybe weren't as clear as they should have been, but I've already passed my feedback on to Sahara Gaming who will look at changing them slightly in future revisions, but it's not the end of the world. It's, you know, it's still pretty straightforward. So uh, yeah, I definitely recommend looking at the Sahara Gaming EX360 if you are in the market for a large AIO. And uh, yeah, it's £129. And remember, if you use that code KIPHAKES20 when you check out on the Sahara Gaming website, you'll get £20 off, which is phenomenal. And it makes it even more of a bargain. So uh, that's it for this video. As soon as I put the video up for the build that I used the Sahara Gaming case for, and this AIO, then uh, I will make sure the link is up there. Um, but that's it for now. So thank you so much for watching. If this video has been helpful, then please do like and subscribe. And I'll be back soon for some more vlogging fun. See ya.